Sit your ass down, time for hey. Bola Hat, Bola hey. Hat, Bola hey. Hat, Bola hey. Hat, Baloney. Sit your ass down, time for Bola Hat, Bola Hat, Bola Hat, Bola Hat, Baloney. Sit your ass down, time for Bola Hat, Bola Hat, Bola Hat, Bola Hat, Baloney. Sit your ass down, sit your ass down, sit your ass down, Bola Hat. Christmas time is here now, what a treat, frickin' sweet, beat my meat to Rosanna's feet. Open up all of your gifts and shit, things mom knit that don't fit tighter than a clit. I'm about to go to Santa's crib, break his ribs, stupid lib, for no damn mad libs. He shall pay for all the years of coal, the a-hole fucking troll, Santa has no soul. It's almost time for those bowler hats, bowler hats, bowler hats to act out this shit. Kick your feet up, grab a snack or two, start to chew, take a poo, then use your ass to sit. Sit your ass down, time for bowler hat, bowler hat, bowler hat, bowler hat, baloney. Sit your ass down, sit your ass down, sit your ass down. You fucking bitch! Christmas time is here. <laughs> Decorations are all set, Commander. Perfect! This Christmas party is going to be the greatest ever! Yeah, if only Kurt was here to celebrate. Say, uh, where is that here pod loving nerd, anyways? He doesn't celebrate Christmas. Oh, I didn't know Kurt was Jewish. No, nope, he don't celebrate Hanukkah either. Kwanzaa? Not Kwanzaa. Is he part of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster? W what? It's a real religion. Look it up. Their holiday is simply called holiday. Well, not even that. He just hates this time of year for some reason. Remember how psyched he was to go to Hawaii rather than celebrate Christmas at the base last year? I see. He's just a Christmas curmudgeon. Like Grinch or Scrooge. A Squidward, that fucking buzzkill! Anywho, have you at least tried to talk to him as to why he hates the holiday season so much, Jetta? No, because every time I do, he kicks me out and says, Bah Cumbug. Um, I, I think you mean Bah Humbug, Cheddar. Yeah, whatever that means! I say we go check it out for ourselves then and see if there's any underlying cause to this holiday hatred. I don't know, guys. He gets a bit antsy when we talk about it. Oh, nonsense! We'll just have to give him the Christmas spirit firsthand! For Cheddar! Shut the fuck up, Purple! Who gave you the right to start a group chant? You fucking purple-haired dork! Later. Welcome to the Bola Hat Gang's base of operations, blah blah blah, what do you want? Good evening, sir! Why, we're here to sing a little Christmas carol! A one, a two, a one, two, a- Three more seconds of that shit and I'll blow your fucking brains out! <clears throat> Appalling! Merry Christmas to you too, you dick! Whatever. Damn it, that didn't work. I got an idea. Cheddar, follow my lead. More moments later. Oh my, what is this you and I have just stood under, Axe Man? Why, I believe it is a mistletoe! A missing toe? Ooh, I love missing toes. I just needed one more to have a whole foot for dinner later. Ahem! Oh yeah, that's right. I guess that means we have to kiss under it, right? It sure does! Mwah! Mm -hmm. Man, I love kissing my loved one underneath the mistletoe! It sure is amazing! Mwah! Yeah, it really is. Mwah! Hey, look, Kurt! We're under the mistletoe, too! I'm not letting a parasitic plant control my love life. Oh. Mm. Hey, um, you two can stop kissing, by the way. Mwah! Or not. Let me take a crack at it. Much, much, much later. Hey, Kurt, check this out. I made a snowman. What do you think? How genius. Make a temporary piece of art that will melt in a matter of days. Such a waste of time. Ouch. Well, we tried. It's too late now. Maybe we'll get them next year. Oh, it's not over yet, men. Leave this to me. <laughs> hey, cocksucker! Why the fuck you don't like Christmas? Were you on the naughty list? Did you get coal as a kid? Did you also accidentally piss on Santa's lap once? Are you fucking kidding me? You told everyone, Cheddar? Well, yeah. I'm your husband. And you haven't even told me why you don't celebrate Christmas? I don't fucking have to! I don't want to, and I'm not going to! All of you get the fuck out of my room! Eh, whatever. 
Hope Santa Dutch ovens your room while he comes in and gives us a present tonight, you fucking wet blanket. Uh, I'm sorry, but You too. But, but babe... Go! Uh, okay. You mean kick you out, Shatter? I told you guys. It always gets like this whenever I talk about Christmas. Well, it was worth a shot, you guys. There's no getting through to him, I guess. No. I will not let this grouch boss us around. Especially me, because I'm the fucking boss. But what can we do, Commander? We've tried everything. There's no way we can get the reason as to why he hates Christmas out of him. There's no way we can, but I know a few people who can help. <laughs> Tch, Christmas. Bah, humbug. Let me sleep through the whole day, please. Sleep? You'll be getting none of that. Huh? Who was that? Cheddar? Commander? Swede? Nope. Dr. Ali! <laughs> Dr. Outing? What the fuck are you doing in my room and why are you dressed like that? Firstly, I'm in my jammies. The chains are to prevent me from moving in my sleep. Secondly, oh I don't know, I just happened over here that you don't celebrate Christmas? What is everyone's deal? Just leave me the fuck alone! It's nobody's business how I go about my December 25th! I'm afraid I can't do that, Kurt. I have gone both back in time and to the future. I have seen terrible things. All caused by you not celebrating Christmas. The fate of people's lives. People you love and care about. Oh, this is rich. Please pray tell what the fuck me not celebrating Christmas has to do with the fate of people's lives. Well... I won't be doing it just myself. I am going to have the help of my three adoptive kids. They will take you with them to see just exactly what you caused by not having a holly jolly Christmas. Unfucking believable. I take it you won't let me sleep unless I concede. Correct. Fuck! Just get this stupid shit over with. Oh, my time is nearly gone. Expect the first of my adoptive children tomorrow when the bell tolls one. Expect the second the next hour. Couldn't I just take them all at once and have it over with? No. Will you shut up and let me continue now? You dick. <clears throat> the third will strike at 3 a.m. Wow, the demon hour. Spooky. You know I woke up and brought my ass here not for myself. For you. How about you give me the common courtesy and just let me finish? Okay. That's all for now. Good luck. What a fucking load of shit. Boo. Ah! What the fuck? I'm the adopted son of the past. Um, Ice Pick, was it? I said I'm the adopted son of the past! Now come with me to see what led you to be a grumpy loser. Hey, I am not a grumpy lo- ah! What the- But the, how- uh, How did you- But uh, how- uh, Huh? Shut up. This house here, does it look familiar to you? What? what? It, it, it does. It's my childhood home. Good. Now that little boy's right there. What about him? Y yes, th that's me. How are you doing any of this right now? LSD. What? Nothing. Now, how about these two arguing over here? Uh, uh yeah, those are, uh, those are my parents. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's no use. They can't hear you. You are but a mere viewer. Now, do you remember what they were arguing about? My father was an alcoholic. He went and spent all of his earnings from the Burtis Burgers food truck on booze instead of any Christmas gifts. I see. And do you remember what happened that night? No, 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 no. Please don't make me watch this. Not again. Please, I can't. This is the third year in a row, Craig. How many fucking times do I have to ask you to just get your son a gift? My son? My son? You mean the son that you insisted on having, Claire? I want no part in raising a kid. Oh, here we go again, Craig complaining about not wearing a condom. Well, tell me this. Is this you talking from the heart, or is this the alcohol talking, huh? Oh, I bet you'd like to know, huh? You really want to know. How about this? How about I let this shit talk for me then, bitch? No. No, what? no, no, no. What have I done? Oh, no, no. I can't do this. No, no! Mommy? Daddy? W wake up. Why? Why must you torment me with these haunting reminders? To show you where it all went wrong. This moment haunts me every single day. I have to have my sensitive ears covered with these AirPods now just to muffle sounds after that heartaching gunshot. They never would have resorted to this if I just never fucking existed. It was never your fault, Kurt. They were destined to turn out like this, no matter the outcome. With or without you, it was fate that unfortunately ended both of their lives this way. Please, take me away from this hellhole ice pick. I, I can't look at this massacre any longer. 
Very well. My sincerest apologies, you had to relive that. It's whatever. I'm an adult now. I I'm over it. I hope so, because it is almost time for the next adopted child to visit. He'll show you the effect that you have on those you love just today. Good luck, and know that there is always room to grow. Ah, <sighs> what effect could I possibly have on people? Kurt, you were warned! Snowcap? Haven't seen you in a while. Nice beard, by the way. Oh, thank you, thank you. But as much as I love to chit-chat with you, Kurt, Outing really insists that I went straight right to business. I'm the adopted son of the present, and I will show you the effect you have on those people you love today. Icepick just told me. Damn it! Muppet's been blabbing about my job to other people! Ugh. Anyway, come with me. Please don't drag me like Icepick. Yeah! <sighs> At least you didn't take me that far. Look there. Huh? Yeah, it, it's just Cheddar. What about him? Just watch. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. All I want is to celebrate Christmas with the love of my life. And if Kurt doesn't want to celebrate it with me, then I guess he really isn't the love of my life. I'd say tomorrow morning, I'm going to break it off with him. And celebrate the festivities with those who love me back! All will be well. All will be well. Chatter. No, no, I, I, I don't want him to leave me. Acknowledging your selfish nature, I see. You worked endlessly to be with him. But seeing that all it takes to stay with him is to spend one day out of an entire year together just really eats you up inside. Just because a bad experience has brought disdain for the holiday for you shall not be the reason it ruins it for the ones you love. Yes, you're right, but w what must I do? Tell me, please, how do I prevent it from happening? What would come of Cheddar if not for my stubbornness? Those are questions I cannot answer. Leave that to the final adopted child. Remember, Kurt, show the iron will to change. I leave you to her. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Please, final messenger, come forth! I want to know what would come of me and Cheddar! It's Cheddar and I. Use correct grammar, dumbass. Uh huh? Ch Trinity! Yeah, just please, just please, just tell me what's to come of us, please, I need to know! Um, rude. First of all, I am the adopted daughter of the future. I am to show you what is yet to come. I know, I know, I know! Just please show me what is to come, please! Very well. Well, men, I hope you're all having a Merry Christmas, as merry as we can possibly have without him here. Huh? W without who? I can't bear to feel at all merry after the loss of such a close friend and member. This holiday is forever stained with the death of one we loved and cared deeply about. Who? Who are they talking about, Trinity? Is it me? For as long as I live, I can't have a Merry Christmas without... Who? 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 Please tell me, please! <laughs> No! Not Cheddar, please! Anyone but him, please! Cheddar could never find the one he was looking for. Thus, leaving him to die of a broken heart. He couldn't find the love of his life. Because he lost him. You. It can't be. It just can't. Why not me instead? You had a more ridden fate. Burtis Burgers. Come get your Burtis Burgers here. Eh, what's in it? Um, dirt and, uh, love. Aha, I can only see that one of those things was put into it, and I sure as hell know it wasn't love. <laughs> you probably haven't experienced that and never will. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. What's come of me? Guilty of your failure to provide as a proper husband to Cheddar? You banished yourself from the Boulder Hat Gang and tried to sell your Burtis burgers again, to no one, thus leaving you a poor and broken man. Trinity, are these shadows of things that will be, or things that may be? Men's courses in life foreshadow certain ends, but if these courses are departed from, these ends will change, isn't that so? Perhaps. Show that you can alter the future. I see now. Your words and visions have opened my eyes to it. I know what I must do now. Then, awaken. Ah! Uh, it's morning? It's morning? 
gracious day! It's Christmas morning! It's Christmas, yeah. Commander! Yeah. When the fuck do you give a rat's ass about Christmas? Since now! Merry Christmas, Commander! <laughs> I guess shouting paid off after all. Still, imagine being that ecstatic over a holiday. <laughs> Wait, it's Christmas? <gasps> that means Santa came! Yippee! Hey, babe, Merry Christmas. Uh, Kurt? Did you just... I wanted to let you know. I I'm sorry I haven't told you why I had such a disdain for Christmas. I'm sorry I treated you so terribly for it, and most importantly, I'm sorry for making you feel like I wasn't the one for you. Starting this very moment, I am all yours, and we shall celebrate Christmas every year, together. W really You're not pulling my cock, are you? Nope. But I could if you'd like me to. <laughs> I love you, Cheddar. I love you, Kurt. Move, move! It's time to open up presents, dummies! Let's see what Santa got me this year! God bless us, everyone! Uh, how long are they gonna keep kissing for? Oh. Not for long. Fucking. Ah! Sit your ass, bitch! It's time for Polar Hat! Sit your ass, bitch! It's time for Polar Hat! Sit your ass, bitch! It's time for Polar Hat! Sit your ass, bitch! It's time for Polar Hat! Polar Hat! Polar Hat! Miss right you wish list even on the holidays we're still doing business call me the Grinch with all this green I'll call you a who if you know what I mean Cold Dasher Cold Prancer I'll call me a lap dancer when I speak I melt the ice I don't care if you're naughty or nice Sit your ass down it's time for Polar 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 Hat Baloney Bitch Sit your ass down it's time for Mother's macaroni got more cheddar than the alimony. Got more heat than a pepperoni. What the fuck is this? A bib? A stroller? A pacifier? How is any of this shit useful to me? Uh, gee, I don't know. Maybe it's for your son. My what? Rowan. 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 Rowan, 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 Rowan? Oh, you're right, Rowan! <laughs> and it's his first Christmas! Say thank you, Grandpa Outing! I said say thank you, Grandpa Outing! Say it, you stupid little fucking- Roger, he's an infant, he can't talk! Thank you, Grandpa Outing. Good job, Rowan. Now we don't owe him anything for helping Kurt. No, you still owe me. Yeah, fuck. <laughs>